from the minute he came into this world, he's changed lives. So and that's what God put him on this earth for. A Tennessee Valley toddler is only one of five people in the nation battling a rare form of dwarfism. Tonight we share his family's never-ending fight to find a cure. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Melissa Martin. Way 31's Brecken Terry joins us live in the studio with a story. And Brecken, what are the chances of this young boy getting diagnosed with the disease and what can be done in help finding a cure? Alyssa, there was a one in three million chance Jessica Davenport and her husband would carry the gene for Shimsky immunoosseous dysplasia, and only a 25% chance their son Cruz would get the disease. He was diagnosed in June, making the toddler the fifth person nationwide to have this diagnosis. And as you're about to see, this family is not backing down, but fighting for a cure. Three-year-old Cruz Davenport loves dancing playing with his sister, and feeding his dinosaur. While he may look healthy on the outside, his body cannot hold protein, and he only has one kidney due to Shimsky immunoosseous dysplasia disease. His third and final symptom for this was T-cell deficiency, and that was the, he was already been clinically diagnosed with Shimkies, but we went ahead and did the genetic testing, and now he is number five in the U.S. The family says doctors in Birmingham diagnosed Cruz just a month ago. We have to be really, really careful with his immune system. This vivacious child runs and plays like normal, but doctors tell the family he might not be like this for long. Statistics show 9 to 11 years. He'll have kidney failure in the next 5 to 10 years. Lotta, what we're going to do, you know, try to make a plan, what we're going to, what we had to, to accomplish to make it better. The family says miracles happen every day, and instead of focusing on the bad, they're raising awareness for the seriousness of this disease. You got two options when this happens. You can either stay home and, you know, cry about it, or you can actually get out, tell the world, let him tell his story. <laughs> With t-shirts and bracelets, the cruising for a cure is underway. I'll tell the world about it and in hopes, you know, the, the research is a $3 million research. The first phase is $100,000, and that gets somebody working on this disease, you know. And with only five people in the U.S., funding is few and far between. I did, I did. The hope for a cure and the faith to get it started. We serve an awesome God, so that's where all my faith is going. Now, most of all, the family says that they are asking for prayers. They also have several accounts set up that all feed into the Cruz Davenport benefit. Once enough money is raised, they will be donating it to the Little Giants Foundation to help fund a research for a cure. We have all of these links up on our website, waytv.com. Alyssa?